Okay, filing for bankruptcy does not always mean broke, but that's a conversation for another day. That is a conversation for another day. Y'all gotta realize like the game a little bit different in certain tax brackets. It's a, it's a lot different. Every decision you have to imagine you make, like I actually know what I'm talking about, chat. The first thing you gotta do, bro, nigga said, thank God, block party, block party, block party, get him out of here, get him out of here, get him out of here. 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 Holy fuck, I need to get a bus for the block party. You niggas are spamming Eagles suck. Wow. Philly is terrible at sports. When is the last time your team has ever made it past any round of the playoffs? When is the last time a nigga bought a jersey for your team? I, we're not having this conversation, chat. Back to what I was saying. <clears throat> First thing I realize is, bro, there's no amount of money in the world that could fix bad, bad habits. This is why Mike, Ta Mike Tyson lost 300 million. MC Hammer lost 50 million. Who has a Hall of Fame? Who, who got bigger Hall of Fame fumbles? And I'm not saying this is a joke. Like, this is real shit. This is some very real, real shit. It can happen to anybody. <clears throat> Fetty Wap fumble money. Don't say Mayweather. Mayweather be cooking. You you don't you don't think so? Mayweather be cooking. <clears throat> Fifty cent. Okay, filing for bankruptcy does not always mean broke, but that's a conversation for another day. That is a conversation for another day. Y'all gotta realize like the game a little bit different in certain tax brackets. It's a it's a lot different. Every decision. You have to imagine you make in a different tax bracket is just not the same. And the chat on some real shit. There's even different game at different tax, even upper, upper tax brackets. Like a millionaire is not the same thing as a multi-millionaire. And an eight-figure millionaire, meaning anything over 10 million, is not the same as a nigga who, didn't, who is at like 100 million plus. It really is not the same. A nigga who got like 10 million, anywhere from like, let's say 10 to 30 something million. Mind you, there are people surviving making $30,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? I grew up poor my whole life. So we're having a conversation about money though. So we're going there. Um, <clears throat> but when you reach like brackets like that, whole different game. We're just talking about zero to hero. Zero to to at least financially be comfortable. We're focusing on that area of money. We're not We're not going to go into 10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We're not going there, right? We're just going to talk about zero to stable. The first thing about zero to stable is what niggas don't even realize is, <clears throat> statistically, bro, the average millionaire you know is probably walking past you every day. The average millionaire is a person who, who's made like $50,000 a year or $70,000 a year um, invested it consistently, you know, bought their house, their house appreciated in value. They might've got like a second home, took some money out, turned the first, like it, it's very slow, sure ways to get money, bro. It's not just always about, man, I got to hit this fucking parlay, bro. Or damn, I got to get lucky on this big play. I understand. I'm a nigga with ambition myself. So I do understand the get rich, get quick, rich thing. But most millionaires don't get rich like that. So if you're literally trying to take the safe, smart route, most millionaires don't become millionaires like that, bro. It's just the ones you see that advertise it. You know what I'm saying? I literally know millionaires that don't know nothing about how to even market their shit. That Airbnb we was at in ATL, the, the, the last one, because I had to use three Airbnbs out there. The last one, me and the guy was literally talking because he was like, yo, I got multiple cribs. Mind you, that crib was a damn, like a mansion, bro. The driveway could fit like 10 cars. It was like six six rooms in there, like four bathrooms, bro. And he has multiple properties like that in different states. And he was like, yo, you said you do YouTube, right? Well, I got multiple properties. I'm going to create a channel where I'm giving out houses. Multi-million multi out of properties. I'm listening to this nigga on the phone like, nigga, I need one of them cribs. I need one of them cribs. But he's asking me how to market himself on YouTube, right? So stop thinking like the average millionaire is vlogging or the average millionaire is is betting and, and doing all this fast shit. The average millionaire 
And I learned this in a book called The Millionaire Next Door. The average millionaire is just smart and consistent. Let's get that out of the way. And we already proven, we already proven, we took, we looked at some top fumbles. Y'all said Mike Tyson, 50 Cent, MC Hammer, he fumbled, like I think like 50 million. Mike Tyson, I think it was like 300 million. It might have been more than that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <clears throat> there's no amount of money that can save you from bad decisions. So if you're going from zero to financially stable, what you realize is for most people just literally don't have self-awareness when it comes to money. Like you have no idea that you're overspending. You have no idea that you, you don't even, you can't even fix something because you don't even think it's a problem. I remember I used to work at the mall, right? It's where a king of pressure, right? And working at the mall is, is one of the hardest ways to save money. Especially when you already got bad spending habits. Nigga, I used to get paid Friday and the bread would be going before I even got to, before I even clocked in that Friday. I would probably get paid Thursday night, Friday morning, technically like 2 a.m. or something. That bread would be going before I even clocked in, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. I mean, I was like 17, you know what I'm saying? High school and shit, but <clears throat> that bread was gone. Didn't even exist. It never made it to the weekend. <laughs> never made it to the weekend. The thing with that is, I didn't even think this was like, you know what I'm saying? I just was so deep into making purchases. It was just like, oh, I, I want to buy this next. 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 Literally no plan. When you start putting a little bit of money to the side, it could be $20. Let's say that's all you can afford to say per check is $20 or $50 or $100. You have to do that first. Now, every time I pay myself, because I'm an employee technically under my own business, do your homework on, yeah, niggas get LLCs or corporation. Do your homework on that. I pay myself. Anytime I pay myself, the first thing I do is separate that money to that savings, bro. The first thing I do. Because you start even ignoring that money a little bit, bro. And you have a little budget. You do it by percentages. You look at how much you can pay. You break it down to percentages. You kind of got like rails. You got like rails. Like y'all know how I'm a good bowler. So every time I bowl, they don't they don't put well, they don't they don't put the rails up when I bowl because they know I'm gonna just hit a strike. So if the rails was there, it'll prevent somebody like y'all from going to the gutter. A budget is rails. A budget tells you, don't go that way, don't spend this much, and you're cooked. That's a budget, that's the bottom line of a budget. So y'all haven't seen me bowl? So y'all haven't seen me bowl? Okay, so we're just not paying attention to the streams then. Um, anyway, the point being, bro, is the, you know what's crazy? If I would have looked at my money back then, I'd say the check was like $300 or $500. And I would have put like a budget calculation on that. Actually, let me show you all for some niggas. I know some of you niggas still count on your fingers. So what we're going to do is, uh, uh, we're going to pull this up. I know, I know some of you niggas still read with your fingers. <laughs> I know some of you niggas still read with your fingers, so actually let me do this so y'all can read chat a little bit easier. Actually, I'm 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 actually gonna work smarter, not harder. I'm gonna draw a box, right? I'm gonna draw a box and then fill in the box. I'm the smartest nigga alive, bro. Oh, <laughs> three hundred fucking IQ, bro. Boom. I'm the smartest nigga alive, bro. Holy shit, bro. I told you, I'm, 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 I'm Play-Doh with a do-rag, bro. I'm Play-Doh with... Who would have thought of that, chat? Who would have thought of that? Anyway. Oh, shit, it's still like... It still needs to be darker on the right side. Make sure y'all niggas can still read the chat. All right, chat. So let's look at this. Just, just give me, give me anybody say the last paycheck y'all had. Just say the number, even if it's embarrassing. Even just somebody give me a number. I'm gonna take the first number I see in the chat. Bro says seventeen hundred. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's go seventeen hundred. Okay. Why am I trying to draw neat? Let me change the DPI on my mouse. Razor. 
Um, let, me, let me make it like something I can like go slow and like be still precise. All right, boom. You made seventeen hundred, right? You niggas did not make fourteen k your last paycheck, buddy. We we know you're not you're not even subscribed. Do you want us to believe that? We're, you're not even subscribed. Do we like seventeen hundred or do we want a different number? Do we want to? It's seventeen hundred. Cool. I want to go with seventeen hundred. So, uh, 1700 time make it lower or higher thank you for that Different. i know you barely Rock had that hey ty low-key off topic but as someone who doesn't know anything about these diamonds can you explain the real cost of a nice really good and real chain and these bust down watches without the fakes and the jeweler overpricing i never bought a diamond piece of jewelry in my life i'm the worst nigga you could ask most of the shit i wear is silver <clears throat> I'm the worst nigga you could ask I did spend some time in a Rolex store Because King of Prussia has a very big And well known Rolex store And I talked to them a lot about that Do y'all know Rolexes Each Rolex has a, a, a purpose Like when they say date just Presidential um, There's one for There's one for people who, who, who climb mountains There's one for people who, who race That's the Daytona there's one for people. Every Rolex has a purpose. Submariner, right? Those every Rolex has a purpose, bro. Every single one. Rolexes are not random. They are very. Now, mind you, there are a lot of watches. Besides the point. Besides the point. All right, seventeen hundred, bro. You got paid. This is after taxes. This is everything. Like this is like. Let's say you are getting paid this bi-weekly, right? We're gonna say bi-weekly. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna make this up, right? Boom. Now. I don't know what you spent or how you spent it, but this is going to be like a not so terrible guideline, right? Now, you got categories. You got save, right? You got invest. Let me know, if this, is this too small? Y'all can read that. Fun, this is the fun category. Do not spend this at the strip club. Um, that that U and the N is far as fuck from F, so we're gonna go right there. F is for friends and it is together. Um, what else do I say? Is fun, if it's fun. There's something else I do with my money. It's the fourth category, bro. Uh, needs, needs, needs. You're right. Needs. I'm tripping. Needs. Now. The first thing you would have to do, no, rent you, I mean, if you if you see a big, like a very in-depth financial spreadsheet, it's gonna separate all that thing and be very specific. But let's just break it down to needs, fund, invest, and save, right? Boom, let's just do it like that, right? Type shit, type shit, go down that way. Bam, right? Now, for the guy that said 1,700, I don't remember who you are. How much do you pay a month in, in, in needs? Your needs is like kind of like that shit a lot of times is set in stone unless you move or change your living situation. Your needs, this is for me, my needs will be rent, car insurance. I'm thinking about like my internet um, and, and food, shit like that. Like phone bill, right. For the guy that says seventeen hundred, what what is your needs, bro? I don't remember who said it. Folks said eight hundred. Nine hundred? Who said seventeen hundred? I'm gonna click on your name and I'm gonna check your chat history. I'm gonna make sure it's you. You did not say seventeen hundred, bro. Like why are you lying? Who's the guy that said it? Who says seventeen hundred, bro? Otherwise I'm gonna just have to make some shit up. But I'd rather use what you what you really like. Me. Did you say it, bro? You are oh, okay. That's the one. A thousand a month and just rent. Okay, I just I, just, I only asked about rent. Okay. The average phone bill check. Can we just say a hundred? Can we just say a hundred dollars? I'm gonna I'm make up everything else. Let's go eleven hundred. Let's rent your phone bill. Wi-Fi. Let's go. Let's go seventy-five. Okay. Let's go seventy-five. Actually, seventy-five for the phone bill. Seventy-five phone bill. 75 Wi-Fi 
So we're at about 11.50, right? Do you drive? Do you drive? Mr. 1700, that was wheel 25. Do you drive a car? Yes, okay. Let's get that, let's get that insurance price, buddy. I appreciate you letting us really use this example. Your needs have to come first, chat. But the, guess what the second most important category is? Guess what the second most important one is as a human being? Y'all going to say save. It's the fun. It's the fun one. Why is it the fun? Because money has a lot to do with emotion. Money has a lot to do with psychology. If you've ever gambled, if you have ever uh, had money ever in your life, you know, nine times out of ten, the first thing you think of doing is pleasing or satisfying yourself emotionally. Oh, I want them sneaks. I want that new, th th this game, or uh, I want to buy this, man. The first thing is like you, you try to emotionally satisfy yourself. So you have to put that in your budget because it's, it's just impossible. Unless you're like going negative every month and you can't afford to have fun. Not to tell you, you have to like put it in there just so you can channel, like you have to get it out. It's like anger. It's like if you're angry, then you need to start boxing or going to the gym or something. Like you just don't want to let that anger build up because then you're just going to do something crazy. Um, it has to go somewhere. So fun is really important. 1875 in total so far. Wait, wait, wait. 1875 in total. Will, is that true? If so, I'll tell you why I'm like reacting like this. Because uh, a whole check in straight total insurance is around 700, but I get paid weekly. Oh, so this is 1700 weekly. Oh, my fault, money man. <laughs> you should have just said that. You should have just said that, buddy. You should have just... Oh, I, my fault. I was not familiar with your game, buddy. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. My fault, bag of child. My fault, money bag, yo. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put you at... I didn't know this was weekly. I was going to do this whole calculation after, but... Okay, this is not average. This is not average at all. So I don't know if we want to use you, but we're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it because this is not average. This is actually way above. You make almost $7,000. You're making $7,000 a month after taxes? This isn't average, but let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. What's, what's all your needs a month then? What's all your needs a month? Let me get like three k. 2500 something like that just let us know real quick you could just you you know this number for sure and after that we're gonna apply the budget about all your needs even if you don't know then we, we can just make it up then because every other category gotta gotta work around your needs ballpark it let's just ballpark it it runs up like 2500 all right i stay with my folks that's smart For a time being. Okay. Now, this is, I like, personally, me, I like doing this per check. If that makes sense, chat. Like, I know, like, I like, I like calculating this budget every check. And the reason I like doing that is because, let's say, sometimes the taxes change or your hours change. He might go from one month making 6,800 to 6,200 or 6,500 or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I do it per check and it lets me know what's an accurate number for that check. Now that I have this number though, watch how I do this. Watch how I do this. I'm gonna take 2,500, right? And divide it by 6,800. And this is gonna give me a percentage. This is gonna give me a percentage. Boom, 0.36, I'm gonna round that up to seven, right? Wanna make it a percentage? Drag that decimal point twice. So 36.7% a month on needs, right? This is a very important number. That six looks horrible, but I'm drawing with my mouse. 
around 36.7% on needs, right? Now what I can do is erase this 2,500 Actually, no, 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 I'm tripping. Let's keep that there. You know what this leaves? This about to be some big brain moments, but just follow me here. We're gonna take 100% minus that needs category. We're gonna get like 63.3. I'm just, I'm just roughing this off. Am I right or wrong? 63.3, right? Okay, I was right. Now, this is for everything else. This is for everything else. Right? Are we good now? Boom, we got the needs out the way. This is like all his bills, card, insurance, all that. Yeah. This is left over for everything else. Now, this is where you go back to your budget right and you say to yourself you this is personal now what is my priorities what are my priorities right me i just had to change my budget a couple months ago because i was prioritizing i'm prioritizing saving right now i'm prioritizing saving so one of my highest categories is saving instead of literally investing for the most, for like most of the last two years, my highest category was investing. And knock to well, I appreciate the gift of sub, right? Now, I know myself. I'm, I've, I've pretty much trained myself not to be impulsive. I'm not really an impulsive person. If I don't go out a lot, I'm not going to spend a lot. If I don't, like, I'm not really an impulsive person, not as much anymore, right? For me, fun had to be a certain amount because I just know I like to I like nice things. But I know I'm super saving right now, so I'm keeping fun I'm keeping fun low right now, right? I'm not having much fun. I'm saving and the only spending I really do is when I'm traveling for these trips and shit like that. Now listen, with that being said, we got 63.3% left over for everything else. Now we're not going to break this evenly. Whatever we want to be a priority, let's say let's say you have no emergency fund, right? And an emergency fund is, emergency happens, you got a, dis, a, a good amount of money in your savings to handle it. Or you lose your job. And then you, you got a good emergency savings to survive a couple months and shit like that. That's an emergency savings. You can handle an emergency. Now, you don't have one. You're starting from scratch. You've been making some bad choices with your money. Your life sucks. Right? Right. They usually say four to six months of pay. You have to prioritize saving. So what we're going to do is, Assuming every single one of your bill is taken care of in the needs, every single one of your your uh, car insurance, food, everything is taken care of under the twenty five hundred. I switched from ordering a lot, which was I was ordering a check maybe one to three times a day every day for like a year straight. I mostly cook now. I haven't cooked recently because I'm about to travel again, so it's like whatever, right? So I mostly I started changing cooking just to put even more in this safe category. So you will have to make adjustments based on whatever your priority is at the right time, right? So just from you talking to yourself, and if you got a comfortable savings, you just went through that season, you can update your fund budget, drop the save. Like you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying these, these change. Your needs always must come first though. They always gotta be thought about. Now, 63.3%. If savings is my priority, right? Let's say, we make this like 30%. Are we feeling 30? I'm going to go with 33.3 because that leaves me an even, I can split it 15 by 15. Boom. I'm going to go with 33.3 because that leaves me an even, I can split it 15 by 15. Boom. Now, 
we can go 15 by 15. But personally, if I know I'm locked in with saving, for me, the next thing importantly is going to be invested, bro. So I, I, I personally, I'm thinking 2010. You can go 15 for 15. Whatever you do, this has to add up for 30. You can go, you can go eight and 22. We're just using like pretty, pretty solid numbers though. We're not trying to make it freaky and shit. Fix that. This shit looks horrible. Right? Boom. Looking good right there. We're looking good, right? Now listen. We already know this is 36.7%. Don't get lost in the numbers chat. Remember, we took this out of 100. Took our needs, subtracted the needs from 100. We got this much percentage left. Now we split that up in our categories. 13.3 for fun. Are y'all feeling that, chat? Because guess what? If you look at your fun budget, right, you can adjust too. You got you to gotta reflect like, all right, am I overspending? What am I overspending on? What was more than I predicted it would be? This this shit is live. Like you don't you don't just make this up and just walk away from it. You like you kind of like you kind of like peep game on it. You kind of check daily like on your spending. Like all right, how much did I spend here? Blah blah blah. I my sh listen. If I showed you how I did my taxes last year, I I found every single purchase for my business and added every single like that was a tedious thing to do. But I every single one. Mint, right, Mint is a good app. Mint will Mint will like keep track of all that shit for you. You just gotta put all your accounts on there. Now listen, right? Boom, we good, right? This is how we're gonna do the math. This is how we're gonna do the math, right? I'm about to erase all this shit so we can calculate this shit. All we did right here is he said he spends twenty five hundred a month on what we needs. We did the math twenty five hundred divided by how much he makes a month. This is how much he makes a month. Because we looked at how much he gets paid weekly. Get it? Get it? Got it? Good. All right, next. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to erase all this shit. How the fuck I make my eraser bigger, bro? Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's size. Size matters, chat. Size matters. Um, How the fuck I make this shit bigger, bro? That shit barely worked. The top. Fuck it, I'm almost done, bro. I'm almost done at this point. Undo. It's not the last thing I draw. So if I undo, it's not going to work. Bada boom. See, listen, y'all got to do this because if you don't do this, you, you're not going to know you have a problem. You're not going to know how out of pocket your, your uh, spending is. Like you might look at your fund budget, right? Watch when we actually get these numbers. I'm going to show you something. I want to do this very, very fast. That's how we do this. That's how we do this. This is monthly, by the way. This is monthly. We're going to take 6,800 and multiply that by every single one of these categories. Boom, boom, boom. Point. That's the decimal point in front of that. That's how you that's how you go back and put a percentage into like some math shit. Multiply 0.10. Right? Boom. Bada boom, bada bang. Right? Right? Now, we smack this in there. This guy's making big boy money. He gets to save $2,000. Two hundred sixty-four. Excuse me, that two is like not on the line. Um, point four, right? Bam, right? That's what we got when we did this math. That's what we got. Next up, we got twenty percent. It's like thirteen sixty. Thirteen sixty. Bam. 10%. I already know that's going to be like 680. Boom. This should be dollar for dollar. 
his Bible, his Quran, his Holy Grail. He should work, wake up to this every day. I'm going to just put monthly over there. Now mind you, this is assuming he gets paid four paychecks in a month. Sometimes it could be five checks in a month. Who, who knows? You know what I'm saying? So this is just a four paycheck month. You know what I'm saying? Four paycheck month of a weekly paycheck, 1700, blah, blah, blah. This is what he his life should look like. Now, if, if let's say you never did this. You know, you know what happens for most people when they see some shit like this? Oh shit. So when I bought them Micah Mary jeans that was 950. I was way over my fun category. That's why I'm barely saving. That's why I'm barely saving. Why those percentages? Because, like I said, after your needs are taken care of, you can change these percentages based on what's your priorities. And I, like I said, let's say his priority is he doesn't have a good savings account. So his priority for the next six months is to save a lot of money. Um, then, then savings, he bumps this up. Makes this the highest thing on there, just so you know. what I'm saying he could he can handle business the way he wants to. So so when you look at this, that's when you reflect like, damn, I'm I'm actually spending way too much money over here, not enough over here. I'm not even spending money investing monthly, and I'm still overspending. Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? You so so you start panicking at first, like, damn, my shit way out of order. Really, chat. I remember I first did something like this, right? I'm talking about like, like years ago, bro. It took me, no lie, a couple of my job checks to get, to like stabilize my life. It's not like literally what you might realize is, oh shit. I literally have to like take care of a couple other things first, whether it's credit cards, whether it's uh, whatever you're paying, right? And then say, oh shit, like I gotta, I gotta stabilize my life and then I can start living by this blueprint. But for the most part, keep it to this blueprint, bro. Keep it to what your blueprint is. You just might have, you might, I know some people might be in some type of holes. Like shit, I gotta pay off a couple of my cars first, man. Or I gotta catch up on this and catch up on that. But now with this, what, is, what this should make you do is slow the fuck down in a couple other areas where you like, all right, I'm not going to the mall today. Actually, y'all can go without me. I'm actually not going out to eat. I'm not going out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, you start peeping game like, damn, I got to tighten up on other shit. You feel me? If we go back to um, the beginning of what I was talking about, let's get some advice per these categories. Any check. So, like I said, you get paid four times. Okay, so y'all want to wanna know how to put this into terms of each of his paychecks? No, no, don't do that. Each of his paychecks, he would just do this. He either divide this number by four. Like he got two options. He could put seventeen hundred into this, or just divide like these numbers by four. To me, it's easier to divide by four, but I already got this shit written right here, so that's why I'm about to just put seventeen hundred. That's all you got to do per check. You just, you just every time you you get a new paycheck. Apply it to these numbers. Because like I said, you could just divide by four, but it's more likely that your paycheck will change than you'll get the same exact check every time. Like, I don't, I just don't believe that happens all the time. So every time your paycheck changes, boom, you erase this part, you put the new numbers in. Paycheck might have been uh, 1800 You know what I'm saying? Paycheck might have been 1600 You know what I'm saying? Then you change it and update, update your categories. You feel me? So... That's all you got to do. And that's how you adjust it per, per each of your paychecks so you know exactly what to throw away in your savings immediately. Do that first. Before you get, I'm telling you, before you get paid, you got to kill your momentum. Like, all right, are you hyping shit, dickhead? You trying to go spend some money? No. Throw that savings away. Throw that savings away quick. You feel me? Duck, it, duck that off first. And then next, right? Next, personally, what I like to do or what I think y'all need to hear it's for this investing category. I'm telling you. 
I can zoom in on these books. Those are some of the most well-known finance books in America behind me. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, all of that. Some of y'all never even heard of. Principles by Ray Dalio. That's a multi-billionaire of the top investment firm in the world. Or at least were at the top at one point in time. Hello, I big bro, I wasn't too long ago. Friend zone, what do I do? Folded hands. Fuck that bitch. Um, she don't gotta be a bitch, but fuck her. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Intelligent, like some real try-hard ass finance books behind me, bro. You read all those, right? You don't have to. I'll give you what's important. Some of the best shit I've heard with investing, bro. Invest in what you use. You got a PS5? Go get some Sony stock. You got an iPhone? Get some Apple stock. One of the stories that was told in a book called... Um, this was... Uh, I remember the exact book. It's this book, One Up on Wall Street. It's a very hard read. I would not start with reading that. I just wanted to show y'all because that's the book that I heard it in. He said one of his best investments was because his wife came home in these jeans. It was like jeans or like a pocketbook she had, right? And when his wife had the jeans on, she was so hyped to buy them or something like that. And then him being an investment guy, he went to see if they had a stock. He invested in the stock of that jeans company and they went crazy. They went crazy. So it really just gave that example of, like, let's say, you know, Sony about to drop a new game or Sony about to have a new uh, event that will impact their stock. So you, you invest in PlayStation knowing what they're doing. If you invest in companies that you use and that you know, it's much easier to be predicting what they'll do or how good or bad they are and how good or bad that they should do. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of times y'all like to look up top five places, top five stocks to invest into, uh, gold and silver and all these things. Invest in shit that you literally use because guess what? Anything, and it's the same thing for music too, chat. The underground always controls the mainstream, eventually. So a lot of shit be cooking in the underground first and then it becomes overhyped in, in mainstream and shit like that. You feel me? Are the ads running or no? Are the ads running or no? No? Bro, for that nigga that said ad, time you out, bro. Like, chill. Don't say ads at the wrong time, because I'll be pausing it. So listen, the, the underground always controls the mainstream. So a lot of times, underground, who guess who gets the underground shit first? The people. The people get the, the, the motherfuckers that have friends and family that are interested in this new product or some shit. And then mind you, TikTok be making the block hot. So you have so say you have more leftover like from like fun or investments. You shouldn't have leftover. You should your goal should be to spend dollar for dollar everything. The only thing that could give you leftover is fun. You should dollar for dollar try to get rid of everything for each category. And if, let's say you have leftover, just put it into what's most important. And this for this breakdown, it was savings. If you can't invest, what to do? What do you replace it with? I'm only 14, so I'm trying to understand. Um, you could have one thing, you could have one savings account and then also put money in there for invest for investing. Just put the put the extra money into saving, I guess. Unless you want to have more fun with it. But if you can't invest, if you literally can't, then I got then the option you gotta throw that money somewhere. I say save it at the same time, but that's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Right, invest in a side hustle, Bob Bob. Buy shit that's important. Buy shit. You know, do what you do what you need to do. But like I said, same thing with music. Something to be underground, and then next thing you know, it's a, it's a mainstream wave. Nirvana. You ever heard of the, the band Nirvana? Mm mm mm. Self assured. I know. Like all that shit, bro. They they changed fashion. They literally changed fashion by just throwing 
bullshit on. Next thing you know, Vogue's trying to keep up with with with, with the shit. I think it was called Gringe. Grange. What was the what was the fashion thing that they started, bro? Grange, Gringe, Grunge, 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 Grunge. I'm fried. I knew I was fucking it up, but I knew I was close. Grunge. A whole fashion trend that they started just by being a random band just doing shit with clothes. And when it went from underground to mainstream, now the mainstream niggas had to catch up. Now Vogue's trying to figure out what's the hottest fashion trends. Because they're going to the streets of the people and trying to study that new thing. Um, Same thing with hip-hop. Everything, bro. Same, same thing, bro. Same thing. So at the end of the day, you will get the best shit first. On the people to people word to mouth type shit. Like I said, that's the best advice for investing is invest in shit you know, invest in shit you use, invest in shit that you personally hear about. Don't just go to Google because anybody can do that. We all, however many people of us is in here, can Google to, and find the same link and then go into the same company. You're not gonna win big or do anything big by just like being late to the blue fucking party. He said grudge. I know I was close, dog. I knew I was close. Grinch. <laughs> oh, God. Also, investing in work. Exactly. Exactly, bro. So, Ty, you investing in YouTube? YouTube is... YouTube's not a stock, bro. Not that I know. Is it, do you, does YouTube have a stock, chat? It would be Google. Like, YouTube doesn't have no stock, bro. Yeah, Google. And yes, I have Google stock. Or Alphabet, excuse me. No, Google has a, Google has a stock, right? I know I'm not tripping. I know Alphabet got is like the, the top company, but Google has a stock, right? Yeah. Is it Alphabet is Google. Alright, same shit, bro. Same shit. Was skincare being was skincare being fun or need? Definitely fun, bro. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of shit that you think you need, you don't need, bro. Now mind you, I know y'all see all these uh soft black man error and all this other shit i'm a little old school bro i'm a little old school bro i don't think nothing wrong with many petties and all that i'm not that's just like kind of like the basic starter pack of self-care to me nowadays like it's just you know what i'm saying you get your get your many petty and shit like that right i'm a little old school bro i roll my sleeves up like i just drink water and work out that's the best skincare i got you know what i'm saying sweat is very good for your skin and go for your body in general. Um, and drinking a lot of water. Everything you eat that's toxic will come out of your pores. That will come out of your skin. Anything that cannot that does not process in your in your, you know what I'm saying, throughout your digestive system and go to, you know, the, the, the liver and shit like that, it comes out of your skin. And when you sweat, you sweat it out. So if you eating all this bullshit and then you sweat it out and your skin all fucked up, that's why your skin look like that, because you're eating bullshit and it comes out of your skin. T.J. ain't paying you no more. I'm about to get, actually, we renew that sponsorship. Have you ever fasted before? I fast all the time. I haven't fasted much recently, though, because I'm on some gaining weight shit right now.